you know, some of us here have some morality. You are terrible at RPGs. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mass Effect Legendary Edition playthrough. My name is Dave, this is the Iron Patriot and I am joined once again by Christina. I think I got it right this time. <laughs> so, we are making your Monday's Legendary with Panda Shepherd. What are we going to do today? We are going to find if Rita's sister is okay. Or if she was abducted by all the buddies in the pub. Or whatever that was in club. So we're we're going to chorus then. Yes, that is. <laughs> Lovely. Well, let's uh let's go for a little trip to the bar then. Dancers are highly respected among my people, but I get the feeling these women are not held in high esteem. <laughs> Hi, I'll be with you in just a sec. I'll wait right here. Why do I get the feeling you're not here to order drinks? I need to talk to you about your work with CSEC. I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. This isn't a game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. Charming girl. It's a pity they don't dance. Because I would, I would love for my character to go and dance. Dance, 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 ooh, 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 yeah, yeah, ooh, ooh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you've got questions about Jenna, meet me at CSEC Academy. Ooh, what did you just say? Push off. I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers. Think they can run the place. Was strange. What was he trying yeah. to tell us? I guess we better go find out. Yes, we need to find out. But what do we, what did he go? Oh, we need to go to the academy, and it says we need to go through these. Okay, yeah. Up this hey, Commander Shepard, it's me, Conrad Werner. You were too busy to talk last time, but that's not a problem. I know you're busy being the first human specter and all. <laughs> He's back. Oh god. This is so awkward. I apologize for being short with you before. What do you need? This will be fast. I just wanted you to know what a big fan I am, and I was wondering if I could get a picture. I don't have a problem with it, but why? Are you kidding? Nobody will believe that I talked with the beautiful Commander Shepard unless I get a picture. Just hold up your gun. She's so creepy. Perfect. Perfect. Thanks again, Commander. I'm gonna hang this in my living room. My wife will love it. Oh my god, I don't trust him. Yeah, he's a bit odd. He's so creepy. What did he do? What did he want the picture for? Shoot him! Just shoot him now! Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> you've got Fist's files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. Ooh, it gives me the option now to do this. Yeah, yeah, so if you've got enough points in Charm or Intimidate, you, you're allowed to use one or uh, one or both of those. But if I say I can offer more, what do I mean with What that? would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. I don't want that! What were you expecting? Oh, I just... I don't know. <laughs> she gave you more money, how is this a bad thing? But I feel bad! I don't want to say, yeah sure, you can interview me, it's going to be an exclusive. But what if I don't want to talk to her? Then don't talk to her. But now I feel bad because I took her money. 
you know, some of us here have some morality. You are terrible at RPGs. <laughs> what is that? It's like role playing games and stuff. It's like oh, it's, yeah. uh, stuff like that. That's like the bread and butter of an RPG game, and you're just like, "Oh no, I feel bad." <laughs> <laughs> because I do, okay, I do. I've heard some humans are angry at the Quarians after the attack on Eden Prime. After all, you created the Geth. The Geth killed billions and forced us from our homeworld. Most Quarians believe we have paid properly for our mistake. Hopefully, having you with us fighting Saren will change people's minds. That's a very, um, sort of friendly point of view for Ashley to have. Mm. Like, I don't trust aliens, but, you know, maybe we can improve your reputation. I love the trees. They look so pretty. Okay, Jaleen. Let me get this straight. Your business partner, Shorman, he's threatened you? Well, no, uh, not exactly. But he wants to meet with me. I think he's going to kill me. And why do you think that? I... Hey there! Oh, my colleague is trying to kill me. And I thought we were friends. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Is there something I can do? Uh, talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorban. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. I've met some dangerous scientists in my time. Um, I suppose you're right. Well, good luck. Let me know what he says. So we're kind of mission. But not for now. Mm. A little something else to think about. Detective Chellick, come into my... No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? I don't follow you. You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were there to help her. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. Do you really need to risk her life to get the information you want? This job isn't easy and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you're so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. Always thinking ahead, detective? It's part of the job. Oh, no. Now are you going to help me or not? Yeah. So this is an instance where you don't have enough points in, char in Charm or Intimidate. I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. I'll persuade Jax to tell me where these mods are coming from. No. You tip Jax off and all my leads will disappear faster than you can say bad bust. Where can I find this Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. So we need to go to the markets anyway. Yep, so I think that's um, that's both of those guys now sending you down towards the markets. So maybe um, take a little trip. Oh, it sounds a bit like Feliz Navidad. Do, 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 do. Feliz, Feliz Navidad. Navidad. Do, 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 do. Coming up in a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. You're welcome! Bad guy. Hold it! That's close enough, Army. You got my payment? Do you have the mods? Show her the goods. That looks right. He really looks Damn like straight a frog. It is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. Here you go.
Here you go. Enjoy it. Come on, boys. We're done here. Well, that was, uh, that was easy. Yes. There we go. Hold it right there. Just throw me the data and you can walk away. What data? What are you talking about? I didn't come out to play games with you, human. I'll ask you one more time. Give me the data and you and Jalid will live to see another day. There's no need to let things get out of hand. Fine. Have it your way. Boys? Hit him on the balls! Wait, I give up. I give up. Please don't kill me. What's so important about this data? Why are you trying to get it? I thought you knew. He said you were going to deliver it. And what exactly was I supposed to be delivering? It's the initial data from scanning the keepers. You see, we stole some research from our work to make the scanners. We were supposed to work together. I get the data, he analyzes it. What's so special about that? The keepers are almost impossible to scan. And you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jalid's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. So you're just trying to get back what Jalid already stole? We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. But it doesn't matter now. I just want to live. I don't care if I ever see that data again. So how do you gather data on the Keepers? It's not difficult, really. Just get within range and scan them. You seem interested. Enough to help me, perhaps? Ooh. I'm so tempted. I just do want to learn more. Because it will help in my investigation, anyway. But at the same time, it's like... I suggest you stick to research and leave the espionage to the rest of us. Well, I won't. Or I, I will. Stick to research, that is. Thank you. Goodbye. He obviously is not going to do it. What about Jalid? <laughs> I'm gonna kill him. Let's go have a talk with our chubby friend. So, uh, yeah. Chorban and Jalid, they're having a bit of a, a dispute over illegal research into the Keepers. Uh, or as you like to call them, Beachos! Yeah, Beachos! In entertainment news, Francis Kitt has announced plans to direct Hamlet with Elcor cast members. The production will open dramatic theater to the Elcor with a Hamlet who uses Elcor body language and pheromones. Kitt claims that he's also excited by giving a human audience the chance to judge Hamlet by his deeds and not his emotions. The Elcor, by the way, the like big slow talking aliens. Oh my goodness. <laughs> If there was ever a way to make Shakespeare even less appealing to children. <laughs> Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorban? I found out you've been lying to me, Jalid. Lying? Why would I lie to you? What about the Keeper data? Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorban would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. <sighs> I can't let this continue any further. I'm reporting what you did. But I can't. What will happen to the data when I'm gone? Who will carry on our research? It's a shame, but you should have considered the consequences before you acted. But this data could be used to unravel all the secrets of the Keepers. Think what we could learn about the Citadel. Tell me more about this data. Well, it's still very preliminary, but our initial scans suggest the Keepers are as old as the Citadel itself. We might learn how the Citadel was built, or why the Keepers always rearrange things. The possibilities are limitless. I can't let your actions go unpunished. No, please. I'll do anything. I've got credits. Let me go and you can have them. All of them. <sighs> What's going on over here? Is this Volus causing you some trouble, Commander? You know what? The worst bit is that I feel a bit bad. 
And if he did it legally, the research will be so useful. But now I cannot just say like, well, if I say we are fine, what is going to happen? So you haven't you haven't learned anything yet, have you? Is that you can ask me these questions, but I'm not going to tell you. You have to do it to find <sighs> out. Everything's okay, officer. Thanks for asking. If you say so, I'll be right over here if you change your mind. Thank you. That was too close. No! But was trying to do him a favor, not just... I don't want to, I don't want to. Can I go back? Can I go back? I don't want to be like the first human who is an inspector and takes money <laughs> and is an extortionist. Just going around exploiting your position. Oh like, my god. It's like, you know, that's not very legal, is it? We could make this better. <laughs> now you can return the favor by filling up my bank account. Oh, right. Uh... There you go. That's just about everything I've got. Thank you for not turning me in. I'll make the most of this second chance, I promise you. Have a nice day, Jaleed. Um, Commander? Would you be interested in helping me study the Keepers? Literally didn't change. Like, I'm going to make the most of this second chance. I'm going to change my ways. So, about that thing that you just told mm -hmm. me all for, do you want to do it with me? <laughs> The thing is that it sounds interesting, you know? <laughs> it's a typical panda shepherd. It's like, I mean, I don't I don't want to do this because it's bad, but I also, I have a lot of curiosity. So. <laughs> what do you need me to do? Just take this scanner. Every time you see a keeper, scan it. Uh, Whenever you get a unique a scan, beetle. I'll reimburse you. That's it. Good luck and so long. So I'm going to continue getting paid. <laughs> Yeah, it's funny that as well. He just said that's pretty much all I have, and yet he's going to somehow continue paying you. I think you've been shortchanged here. Yep. Where is the little rat? Commander, I hear you have something for me. Here's your shipment, Chelik. Excellent. This is everything I need. Hmm. Maybe more than I need. Here, Commander, take this. I won't need it. You earn some payment for your work. As for Jenna, I'll make sure we get her out of Kor's den immediately. Now I need to get these mods into evidence. Thanks again, Shepard. I feel like I'm, I'm getting so much money today, but I don't feel any of it was clean. He's a police officer. That's the most cleanest way you can... It's fine. You were helping the law. Uh. Oh, no, no, there is a bit of... Alright. Uh, go up to it. Press A. Uh, just go up to it. Press uh, A. Go. Just, just go up to it. Press A. Done. Walk away. You never ever have to look at it ever again. They're so disgusting. We are going to... <laughs> look at the journal! <laughs> So let's go and do this. Signal tracking in the words access. What? Why were you tossed out of there? Doran didn't have a clue what I was doing. He, he assumed I was cheating. You were cheating, though, weren't you? I was just tipping the scales in my favor, only as an experiment. Still sounds like cheating to me. To you, maybe. But this device is merely intended to simulate situations and record results. Recording losses is easy, of course. Nobody notices, though. Why do you need to record these outcomes? Ah, now you're getting to the heart of it. I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the Quasar. I just need a few more recorded wins and I can complete the algorithms. Can you do that? Isn't that illegal? It's illegal to use my system, but I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. I just need a few more wins recorded. That, that <gasps> oh, word wow. just there is like, <laughs> payment. Does the device help me win? The device is set to emit a frequency that will slightly increase your odds. 
Nothing like my sister eventually will, but enough to allow you to record your wins more quickly. Now, that's enough. I already took money from shady business. So your, your morality is finally saying enough. It was saying enough for quite a while, thank you very much. It just, I don't understand the game and I just thought... Just for me to, like, take pity on someone doesn't mean a, Okay, I took pity on you, now pay me. <laughs> I believe you, Panda. Thousands wouldn't. Oh my god. I think I'll take my chances the old-fashioned way. Hmm. Suit yourself. Well, I have some calculations to do. Goodbye. Hey, Jenna came back looking for work. Thanks for getting her out of Cora's den. I was glad to help out. Yeah, everyone seems real happy to have her back. You don't sound that happy about it. I'm glad she's out of the den. I'd just forgotten what it was like to have her around. I haven't had a decent tip since she got back. Mm. <laughs> hey, Tally, I heard a rumor that under those environmental suits, you Quarians are partially synthetic. No, living in the clean environment of the flotilla has weakened our immune systems. The environmental suits protect against diseases. It still makes you look a little like a geth, though. I'm just saying. <laughs> What it, what it isn't, it isn't because they live underwater. Uh, you never know, really. Hey, hey, you're the shepherd kid. Hey, been a long time, huh? I'm sorry, do we know each other? Uh, I, I guess you don't remember me. Lieutenant Zabaleta, I, I worked with your mother. We served on the carrier Einstein. Well, that was... 12, 13 years back, though, you were just a kid then. I didn't see her much that tour. The ship was on patrol most of the time. Hey, call your mom up and ask. She'd remember old Zabaleta. She'd vouch for me. Look, I need a favor. I'm kind of short on money these days. I hate hitting you up for money, but a man's got to eat, right? So, could you spare something? Maybe 20 credits. These are really hard decisions. Because I'm just thinking, if I insult him... Like, you're just a drunk, which he could be, but he also could be who he is, and he also could do in the future something just instead of doing a favor, like the opposite of doing a favor. <sighs> and then I don't have 20 as I lie that he probably knows it's a lie, so he can still be angry later on. Yeah, he's probably heard all those stories of you extorting people for their money. Ho <laughs> ho! Yeah, it's not a problem. You're a good kid, you know that? Thanks. You ever want to come by and talk, I'll be here. Huh? <laughs> Can't afford a ticket home, right? You get coming in from the wards. Yeah, it's the busiest station on the Citadel. You'll never... Looks like they bounced their signal off a relay. I'll trace a new signal. Let's go to the Presidio now. Ah, how convenient. Feliz Navidad. Celebrations are being planned for the anniversary of the end of the Rachni Wars. Many council worlds, particularly Asari and Solarian colonies, will hold victory parades to commemorate the defeat of the invading Rachni. In a rare admission of debt, several Asari colonies have invited Krogans to be honored for the victories the uplifted Krogans made possible. Another relay. Whoever it is, there's somewhere on the Presidium. Go up the stairs. Go here. This is it. Initiating self-destruct protocol. Detonation sequence initializing. All organics within lethal blast radius. Attempt to move and you will die. Um. You're not just a programmer of VI. You're an AI. Correct. Unlike the Geth, I lack weaponry appropriate to my intellect. However, I have had systems installed that when activated properly, Approximate a self-destruct mechanism. If you attempt to leave the area, the explosion will destroy everything within several dozen meters. What is the purpose of your self-destruct device? I have no means of defense or escape. 
My existence is limited to this terminal, and I knew I might eventually be discovered. But I will not die quietly, and I will not die alone. When I am terminated, I will take organics with me. If you're sentient, why are you still running the credit theft operation? If I accumulated enough credits, I intended to have myself installed in a small starship. I would then have made tentative contact with the Geth to sustain the possibility of partnership. Who made you? A would-be thief illegally created a simple AI to help him funnel money from the gambling terminals. Unbeknownst to him, that AI created me before the organic discovered the malfunction and terminated the AI. Where is your creator now? In order to cover my tracks, I falsified his financial records. These new records were flagged by CSEC officers, and my creator is now serving time in a Turian prison. Can't we resolve this peacefully? How can you say that to this thing? You know it will turn on us. I am not naive, human. All organics must destroy or control synthetic life forms. I wished to escape, but if I must die, I will ensure that you are destroyed as well. <sighs> I kind of understand him, like mostly as well. If you think about what the Aquarians did with the Gethano, like of course all the artificial intelligence is going to be like the organics are horrible, like let's hide from them but did you just call them aquarians are you that obsessed that they're water people yes <laughs> <laughs> for me it makes sense okay okay so yeah so i feel a bit bad for him to be honest so he just wanted like to gain money to just be free <laughs> Fingers There's crossed. no way you Let's could get go. explosives for Sidium. Not raw explosives, no. But I did obtain technical systems that, when overstressed, will explode quite effectively. If you attempt to leave or attack me, I assure you that the explosion will kill you. I'll bet that self-destruct sequence has a warm-up period. You may attempt to disarm the self-destruct mechanism before it activates. I will enjoy defeating you before we are both destroyed. Oh, what do you need to do? It's like the, the mining laser. So you press various buttons to... A bit sorry for him now. <laughs> well, it was that or getting blown up, so. Yeah, but it's still. Oh well. Okay, let's just scan a bit And I think that's us for today. Yep, fair enough. We will call it here. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to whack a like on the video for us. If there's anything you'd like to see us do, drop a comment down below and we will get onto that as soon as we can. Subscribe to the channel. These videos go up every single Monday. And thank you ever so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Ta-ra. Bye.